What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This video is all about tips and tricks for the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. And I'm gonna show you as many as I know. And if there's some that I missed, put them in the comments down below. Share the information, baby. Without further ado, let's get into the tips and tricks. If you wanna buy these, they're linked down below. They're great headphones. I definitely confirm that they're really good. So pick them up if you're looking to get them. So first of all, a couple basic ones. If you want to change the track, play pause, go back a track, it's very, very simple. And to also change between the different modes, you're gonna tap the buds right here, either on the left or the right, depending upon what you want. Tapping it on either way, either side, will play pause the music or answer the call. You can also double press them and that will go back a track. Three times goes forward a track. And then if you press and hold them, it'll switch between whatever mode that you have it set to. Currently I have mine set to transferring and changing between active noise cancellation and transparency mode. If you wanna get these paired up with basically any device from an iPhone to another Android phone to another Galaxy phone to a computer, a Mac, any device that allows for Bluetooth devices and you wanna get them paired up, again, put them inside of the case, use two fingers and press and hold on these, the tops of them for about three seconds and they will start changing color. They'll turn like red, green, blue. And that means they're in pairing mode. Then go on to your other device and you can pair them up. If you want the best absolute sound with these, put the biggest air tips on. You will get the best active noise cancellation, the best bass, the best volume, the best of everything. It'll also potentially make them the least comfortable. But for me, it actually isn't too bad. It doesn't really bother me that much. And I would definitely recommend putting the biggest air tips for basically the best of everything. You can charge this case two ways, either USB-C or wirelessly. This is the bottom of it. Just place this onto a wireless charger and it will wirelessly charge for you. All right, next we're gonna go over to the Galaxy wearable app because that's where a lot of this comes from, a lot of this information. So if you wanna remove these, an easy way is within the app. You can just hit the hamburger menu in the top left and then you'll see manage devices, tap on that. Tap on the device you want, say for instance, a Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, and then hit remove at the bottom. Very easy to do that. Going back to the main screen of the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, you can come in here and you'll see at the top, you have active noise cancellation, which is going to block out a lot of noise around you. Not completely, because nothing active noise cancellation fully does it, but it does a really, really great job at it. Turning it off will give you the absolute best battery life, but it turns off transparency mode and active noise cancellation. So if you don't care about those two features and you want the best battery life, keep that to off. Ambient mode is gonna amplify your outside surroundings so that you can hear things better. So that's a good one to, to have on as well. I like having that on if I'm out in public and I wanna hear what's going around me, but I also wanna hear my music as well. Voice detect is a really cool one. If you turn this on, we'll tap it. You'll see, I have it off right now, but when your voice is detected, it automatically turns on ambient mode sound and lowers the media volume to make conversations easier. So if I'm listening to something and I have voice detect on, again, it's gonna automatically switch so that I can hear my outside surroundings better and lower the volume of what I'm listening to so that I can hear those people better. So it's a really, really cool thing. It could also get kind of annoying if you don't want that to happen every time you're talking to somebody and it notices that, but you can, as you can see right here, you can change the time that, so it says end the conversation when your voice isn't detected for five, 10 or 15 seconds. So you can adjust that as much as you want. 360 audio, this potentially is a cool one. I actually prefer it off, but when you have it on, basically when you're listening to something, it gives you this kind of, almost like a rean, not this bad, not or not this extreme, but almost like an arena rock type sound. You get this big, massive sound all around you rather than a tighter sound, if that makes any sense to you. You can also do head tracking, which if you turn that on, this is actually pretty cool. So if you're like holding your device in front of you, it sounds directly on with you. But if you start turning, the music is louder here, but not, it's, you can still hear it here, but it's just not as loud. Or if I turn here, this will be louder and this will be more quiet or whatever. It, it, you get all kinds of different sounds. So it's actually pretty cool to have the head tracking and head tracking also enables another feature as well with neck stretches, which I'll show you in a little bit. So if you keep that on, uh, you'll be able to do get uh, notifications to do neck stretches as well. 
Um, touch controls, this is a big one. If you, I know for myself, I use some buds in bed and my son sometimes grabs my head or face or something and he changes the track or stops it. So I actually turn off the touch controls. That means if I'm tapping these, they're not gonna do anything. They will, no matter if I press it once or twice or press and hold, it won't do anything. It disables all of that. I like having it on when I'm out in public, but if you're in an area or someone's always grabbing or touching your head, you might wanna turn those off. Let's also go into uh, touch controls. I'll tap that and this is where you can um, turn some of these things off. For instance, if you want to turn uh, tap off so that when you play pause a track, it doesn't do that, it won't do it. It won't, um, it won't, it'll turn it basically off for you. So it's kind of a helpful thing to turn that on and off. Um, I turn all of these on though. I like to double track to go to the next track, triple track, triple tap to go back a track. Um, then we have the touch and hold controls, which you can tap on that and you can do some stuff in here. For instance, I know one of my biggest videos of all time is how do I turn the volume up on my buds? I turned it all the way up on my phone. It's not going up in my buds. One of the big thing is, is you would, even if it's temporary, come in here, choose the left and the right touch and hold controls to be volume up and volume down. So if you press and hold it, it's going to make it, it's making me make, make it go down. So if I press and hold it, it's gonna go all the way up for me, as loud as it can go. And that's how you make your volume through the buds as loud as they can get if they're, are, if they're not already set to that. You can also switch them to Spotify or Bixby, which is uh, Samsung's personal assistant. If you choose uh, noise controls for active noise cancellation ambient sound, you can hit the gear next to it and you can do whatever you can switch them. So one does one, one does the other and by switching, you know, left or right, uh, or you can just have ambient sound turn on or off and not do uh, noise cancellation. So it depends on what you want on there. So that can be very, very helpful. That's good with touch controls. Next we'll go to Airbud settings. There's tons of stuff in here. I like my equalizer to be set to di uh, dynamic. I was gonna say dynamite, but dynamic I feel like has the best sound, but you can play around with the different equalizers just by tapping between these while you're playing something, some kind of music or something, and see which one that you like best. You also have your earbud fit test, and you can start this and it's gonna play it and it'll tell you if your buds are fitting correctly with the way you have it. You can see I have a good fit going on. Read your notifications aloud. This can be super annoying, I'll admit. So generally I do keep this off, but if it's something important, like a phone call coming in or messages that you really wanna know what's going on, it'll actually read that notification out loud. For instance, if it's a call, it'll be like, mom is calling, or dad is calling, or Jimmy, or whoever your friend is. Same thing with your schedule or your messages. If some something comes through with one of those apps, it will alert you and read it to you. You can also hit select all and I guess not show, oh, read aloud, here you go. You'd wanna click that drop down at the top and see which ones are not being read aloud and you can turn them on or off however you see fit. Once you're done, just hit the back button and it will add it to that list of read out loud la uh, apps that read your notifications out loud. Bixby wake up, I don't use this. I, you might, If you want though, you can turn it on and it'll wake up your Bixby and let you control your phone. Use ambient sound during calls, do this. Do this, do this, do this. If you make phone calls, you wanna hear yourself better. You don't want it to be sound muted because you might end up talking louder or too loud or you might just not enjoy the phone call as much. So turn this on. This will allow you when you're talking on a phone call to hear your outside surroundings of your voice. You'll pick up your voice a little bit more like microphone it. So it amplify your voice, I should say. You then have the air and air in air detection for calls. So if you keep this on, It'll play calls through your earbuds when they're in your ears and through your phone speaker when they're not. Turn this off to play calls through your earbuds even when they're not in your ears. So you can turn that feature on and off however you see fit. Seamless earbud connection, this could be super helpful. Basically what it does is it switches quickly uh, to nearby devices without disconnecting your earbuds. Now it only really works with Samsung devices and you can see if you read through it, it works with any Samsung account that you're logged into. Even if it's 
uh, never paired with your earbuds before. Also, will other devices if they were paired with your earbuds previously. So it will switch if you, so if you have a, a tablet that is nearby these buds, it'll actually ask you to connect to them if you want automatically without you having to pair. Once you do connect, it will pair them for you. What do we have next? Next stretch reminders, like I was mentioning earlier, if you have this on and you turn this on, this will tell you to stretch your neck. Um, and there's a calibration to it. Let's calibrate your earbuds to get started. But basically, if you go through this, this is look forward with your head level for 10 seconds until you hear a chime. I'm gonna do that. I'm looking straight ahead. I should hold my thing up here. There you go, calibrated. It's ready. Tilt your head until you hear a chime. I'm gonna tilt my head. Come on, baby. It's calibrating my earbuds. All right, I heard the chime until you hear the chime. All right, we're good. I think that would probably be it. I couldn't calibrate it. I'm talking and stuff, but basically it'll tell you to stretch your earbuds. You get a little notification on your uh, screen telling you to do so when you have the earbuds in and your neck is just basically stiff in one uh, direction. Labs, these are some lab features. You have gaming mode and uh, double tap earbud edge, but basically if you click on this and you turn it on, you'll see if you tap the edge of the earbud, you can change your volume up or down. I personally don't think it works that great. Whatever, maybe you're better at it than me. Gaming mode is something you might wanna do if you play gaming uh, or even videos, it, it should work with, but definitely gaming. It minimizes the audio delay. So if you ever play a game, for instance, and you notice what you're hearing isn't matching up with the lips or uh, with, with whatever you're seeing on the screen, this will minimize that delay. They do have to be close to the device that they're being used on, the Samsung device. So make sure you are close to it if you are using the gaming mode. Reset, if you need to reset these, click on reset, reset, that will do it for it. Accessibility has some cool things in here. You can change the balance of the buds left or right, dependent upon, oh, it's playing music now. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of that. Uh, so it'll play some kind of music and let you hear it. Maybe you have better hearing in your right and not your left. So you wanna make the left louder than the right or hear more in the left or whatever, you're able to do that. Noise controls with one bud, this is important. If you turn this on, it's going to prevent discomfort noise controls turning off automatically when you're using one bud. So by default, if you take one of your buds out and you leave one in, you won't be able to change between the noise controls. If you turn this feature on, you will be able to do that with just one bud. Bud. So even if you don't have hearing problems, this might be a feature that you might want to keep on. Customize the sound. If you turn this on, you can make uh, the uh, sound volume more or less in each bud. You can also make the ambient sound uh, softer or clearer, depending upon how you want with that. So again, the nice little accessibility features for people that have disabilities or don't. So it's, it's for both people. Earbuds software updates is where you'd come in. Auto update. Click on that, do, uh, I'm gonna do both actually. You might, because the updates are always so small, they're only two megs, and I have unlimited data on mobile anyway, so I'm not worried about it. So auto updates, at least use Wi-Fi uh, or use Wi-Fi and, and mobile data, but it will automatically download your updates for you. And then once it's ready, it'll say, do you wanna install the update? And it will add the update to your buds for you um, when, when it's ready and give you any new features or fixes that it happens. If you wanna manually check, just go to download and install. It'll check for an update for you and you can go from there to install. The last thing I wanna show you is actually pretty cool. Go to a blank spot in one of your home screens, press and hold, go to widgets, and then you're gonna look through this. You're looking for Galaxy Buds 2 Pro Manager. Tap on it and you'll see you can add this Buds controller if I press and hold it. It now has this and I can change the background to white or black. I can make it transparent or not. I can match it with my dark mode. Once I'm done, hit save. And now I have this really cool controls. So I can turn on and off my ambient noise or I can turn on and off my touch controls. So it's a little shortcut for you to use with this app. So there you guys go. That is my tips and tricks for the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. I definitely recommend pick them up. They sound great. They work great, they look great. Check them out, guys. And uh, if you have any tips or tricks that I missed, put them in the comments down below. Have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.